so 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 and grow 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 guys today we are going to be harvesting greens collard greens guys so these are starting to go to seed um so i definitely want to harvest these collard greens and i'm going to show you a way that you can regrow these from the stalk by just leaving it in uh, wherever you have it uh, in and just cutting it down all right so you can have you some summer uh, collard greens, all right, and then I'm gonna take you inside so you can see where it is flout starting to seed at. It's definitely time, all right. So let's get to pruning this bad boy. It's about one, two, maybe five to six plants in here. We're gonna prune them all the way down, all right, guys. Let's get started. Got me a bucket here, and you can prune them from the outside. The uh, stem, the stalk, will heal itself, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. New one growing there, and the new one growing there, but we're going to chop all of them down. Get all of them down, maybe cook some tomorrow. Pluck from the outside to get the perfect size for you. Them, put them how you like. Seasonings of your choice. Put them in there if you like. Mm. So we're just cutting them all down now. They're, they're from last year, but we're not going to get rid of stuff. All right. Still in this year. That's what we're going to be keeping. I'm going to show you how to save them. So you never have to buy greens ever again. This one is definitely, I'm going to bring this so you can see these two, what I'm saying about it flowering. leaves are always the sweeter leaves like nice and succulent it's just delicious
All right, guys, I'm going to bring it in so you can see what I'm talking about with it flowering. All right, guys, this is what it looks like when I'm finished pruning it. I'm just going to cut the tops off anyway. But let me show you what I'm talking about. See how tall these two got compared to these? And this one also. They are starting to, like, see, you can see the seeds in there. The pods and then the seeds. You see that? So... I don't want that, so I'm just going to chop these tops off, and then we're going to prune around here, wait a minute, I'm sorry, we're going to prune these here, I'm sorry my hands are dirty right now, but we're going to prune around here to get that all cleaned up, alright guys, and then we're going to add some more soil to this area, okay, and then my spinach is, she's looking better, <laughs> so yeah, I might move her into a different area. That's what the spinach is like. All right, I might just move it to a different area, but this is what the collard greens are looking like so far, guys. All right, so we'll be back once they're all chopped off and cleaned up. Well, let me show you how I'm gonna chop them off first, and then we'll show you how I'm gonna clean them up, and then I'll let you go. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna take it, see which end of that. That's what we're gonna do. Just take it and, uh oh, my, okay, so, uh, just like that, all right, guys, right where the leaf ended, you're going to chop them off, boom, 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 because they're going to heal over, they're going to heal over and you're going to have more root growth there, all right, guys, let's see, she's down here. Boom. See that? Boom. Don't be afraid. This is oh, okay, it was easy enough. And we're going to tap that one down. Also, this one was the biggest one. As you can see, the stalk was really thick. Right here. And we're going to chop her off of there. Even the baby ones, we're going to chop down. Sorry. But hey, this is all for summer. Now we have a couple of these tops left and if I had some pigs or whoever needs to eat this would be eating this okay uh -oh, I need to chop one more so I didn't even have to come back guys alright I'm gonna chop that baby down too let's put my hand in there boom Right, guys, so that's what she looks like now. Oh my goodness, why did you do that? Oh my goodness. Well, wait until the summer and you'll see what I'm talking about. But we're gonna try to get close to these, like a trunk of a tree, okay? And clip as much as you can away, all right? I might have to get the shears for this, but this is, I'm just trying to show you guys how to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the shears for this, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna get the shears and clean this up, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like. Fill up with more soil and clean up. All right, guys, so we are back on the scene, and this is what she looks like. So you get it all cleaned up and you cut as close as you can to a stalk or whatever that is. As close as you can. I went in the house, got busy, and then I still forgot to bring my shears out here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. It's really, really close to that stem, as you can, guys. But, you know, the shears are a little skinnier, and they will help you out so, like that. All right, guys? And then I filled up with some more soil. So I might put some, I don't know, strawberries in there. I don't know what I'm going to put in there next to it. But something else is going in there with that. And there you have it, guys. Try this, and you will never have to buy greens again.
All right, guys, so this is my harvest. Look at all of these collard greens, guys. Look at this. I love it. I'm going to freeze some, saute some. You know, I'm just going to cook them all, girl. I'm going to cook them all. But look at this beautiful harvest of collard greens that came out of that pup bucket that we were harvesting out of. That's a lot of collard greens, guys. And then these ones were the ones I didn't want to keep that look, you know, look like this. You know, things like that. And these are the tops here. But look at this. Look at this harvest. This is what you can get for growing your own food. Look at that. This is from growing your own food, guys. Your own food. Huge, huge, huge harvest. Save your money. Save the trees. <laughs> And don't forget, guys, let's grow together so we can eat together.